Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import sales receipts in batch from text, IIF or Excel files into QuickBooks Online using Z axis. So the first step is to create an ax. So I'm going to click on this button here. I'm going to give it a game. And then I'm going to browse to the file that contains the sales receipts that I'm going to upload into QuickBooks Online. So this is a set of sample files that we have. And these are in a text format. So once I click Save, I'll then be able to go to the next stage, which is to select the type of event that's going to happen, which is a file upload, and what we're expecting to be imported. So we can import as sales receipts whenever this file is uploaded. Click Next, and you come through to the third step in the process, which is to map the columns in your import file against the columns that you have in the QuickBooks sales receipt. So reference number is going to go against that, date, and so on. So you don't need to map all of these. Those that are marked with an exclamation mark here are required. So I'm going to put in the customer. And the other mandatory fields is the item, the amount, and a quantity and put in a description as well. So once we start to do this map, you can see a sample of what data is being pulled from the sample import file that we browse to. If you don't have a missing value here, you can actually enter it as a constant if you need to. So say we wanted them all to go to a certain date, we could put that in as a constant value. So let's do that. Say and that is saved along with the map. We also have the opportunity to create a function which will um, which can search and replace on words or can join columns together. So once we've completed our map, we can select just the fields that we mapped and you can see that here um, so you can get a preview of what's gonna be imported into QuickBooks. So we also have the option for auto numbering so what that allows you to do is to pick up the sequence from QuickBooks Online for the next batch of sales receipts. So once we've done that, we click Save Mapping, and the mapping we save for the next time we need to upload this file into QuickBooks Online. We click Next, and you'll see a preview of all data that we're going to be imported into your QuickBooks company file. So you have the, you also can edit the data before it's imported. So once you're ready, you click import to QuickBooks. Access will validate the data before it's imported and then begin the process of directly importing that into your QuickBooks online company file. And you'll see in this import summary screen, all the transactions that were imported into your our QuickBooks Online company file. We can undo those if we need to, or we can click View, and it will show you directly the, trans the sales receipt, and it will take us to the transaction in our QuickBooks file that we've just imported. So that's very simply how you import a sales receipt from a text, Excel, or IIF file into QuickBooks Online using Z-axis.